Sila nga yung pinakamarami ng nailaro no? Dahil later on tonight As Kelly drops it off To CBC Kasi pag di ka umabot ngayong gabi According to Carlo Pamintuan Kasi taga airport ka na Ewan ko ba't kabisado niya <laughs> Tuwing gabi lang daw Umabot ngayong gabi Bukas ka pa ng gabi ulit, oh. Unless magko-connecting flight ka Eh ganun din yun ang mangyayari You know, you're, you're hoping that you can get something from uh, Carl Brian Cruz. A champion of Tao is Stan Hardinger, no? And he's able to keep in front huh, of uh, Stan Hardinger. Scotty, though, it is an effort by one. Mikey to Kelly. Back over to Mikey. The Williams connection will deliver the goods. Mikey Williams! cut off the Carl Bryan with a baseline, no? Now Tenorio will get away. Long two is good. Mikey on the attack. He wants to bounce back from that 108 performance. Misses on this one, but they keep it on that side. Kelly locates at him for the reverse. And that's why you know, it's almost Sini Mullen, the coach Trotrias, Sinar Tagat, and also Carl Brian Cruz. Montalbo knocks on the triple. TNT, as we mentioned, last game of the Elims para sa kanila as Montalvo has gone back to back from deep. So yung eight, may at least isang team na lang oh, doon. Oh, e, inahabol mo ngayon twice to beat pagdating ng quarterfinals. Blackwater still in the thick of the fight at five and two. Itong Magnolia at Meralpa, sila na lang yung pe pwedeng umabot pa sa eight. Coach Richard Del Rosario and Coach Luigi Trillo. Tapos, birthday pa yun ni Coach Luigi Trillo. Yun no? Oh. Oo. JP, no. They've been getting good looks, just not able to knock those shots down. Thompson from the corner. That's good. Mikey Gustum Bumawe, he beats JP. Eran chased out of the box. Now he looks to pound it in. Jap it all over him. JP with a shake and bake. It's been a steady first quarter both ways. Ang Inebra, wala pang team foul, ha? ENT, may apat na. Make that five as Chapman gets the basket at the Japan foul. And uh, these fans, everybody that's here right now, what, by my count, maybe 10, 11,000 fans, they've come here to cheer. Castro comes out to receive. Scoreless so far, say the blur. He jumps a pass over to JP. Shifts directions, drops it off. Canuela Strasser dribbles out on the... Third attack, it is Pogoy who gets the basket. Able to get inside the paint that time. You can see TNT using their quickness and great passing. That'll do it for the first 12. It is TNT who comes out with a four point lead 27 23. in midair. Stan almost the same spot. Same result, but okay, Pringle. The two Williams at that, as well as Jason Castro. Mikey gets the triple back. How about Bogoy above the rim for the rebound? And this is, you know, when you look at it, a little smaller lineup for TNT. So they really got to be helping each other out and getting those rebounds. You're, you're trying to figure out how to be able to get into a rhythm. Bogoy, nice fake. Fake them out of his socks. Had five points in the first quarter, and now a total of nine here in the second. Interior pass broken up. Pogoy diving for it. Now Castro will push it up. Pogoy is a bit shaken up, but he picks himself up. Nice passing. Marcelo to Kelly to reestablish an eight-point lead for the TNT. This tactical battle will continue. We don't expect it to change all night long as Pogoy has scored his 15th and 16th points. The rep by eight. Di magintende yun nga. Kelly makes it a 10-point game. Well, he never not doing a good job of cleaning up the boards. Ayo pa rin. Kobontin trying to outrun everybody. Kobontin with a finger roll. They dodged the bullet there. Denorio looking to set the table para dito sa Inebra. Stan Hardinger with a pick. 
Stan Hardinger on the catch. Stan Hardinger with a shot. Mikey, again only with five points per end, gets it to Kelly. He goes to the sidestep beauty. He has that advantage there when he gets that ball on top. Take another look at that Kelly Williams beauty. Push this lead to 11 points. Indianapolis had his number since last conference. Alam mo yung first four games si Mikey Williams average now is 25 points. All well executed play that time. Ganda ng pro is ni Coach Jarn. Stan Hardinger para sa board. Forward pass to LA. Under a minute remaining here. LA and Scotty connecting once again. You always need to be aware where Scotty Thompson is, especially when LA Tenorio is the one that has that basketball. He sees it. Swinging back to live action. 10 seconds remaining in this first half. Mikey. Looking to make his move. Long three. That's good! And that's big. Because of that play earlier on, it seemed like it went off the hands of Jason Castro. Fifty-four forty-eight is the score. DNT's lead is six. Bobasan on the last Tenorio hits. Kelly, Bebuelo, Hule, Nitolentino, but it is kept on that side. Mikey against the shot clock drills the three. You can see uh, that in the third quarter, defensively, they're much better. Mikey de Discarte. Puts up another one. Kelly Williams bringing down the hammer. That's He had an exact same highlight in their previous game against San Miguel. Oh. Steal by Montalvo. Mikey back to Kib. And he sneaks it through. Well, you look at you look at that report, and you know the coaching staff of Barangay Ginebra definitely wanting to focus on the defense. Taken away by Mikey. And that's a tough pass, a cross-court pass. Mikey zigzagging his way to the red tag zone. Gets it to Kelly. What a finish by TNT. The defense of Barangay Ginebra really suffering because of TNT using their quickness, spreading that floor. They are finding the open man just like this. Kelly Williams. 65-54. Abante ng TNT. Labit isang puntos. Pringle kicks it over to LA. Runs into two defenders. Japet was there to save the possession. Mikey puts the set down, drops it off. That case it ain't fun. See folks, stop again the bar for the trophy giga. It seems like here in the third quarter, T and T a step ahead against Barangay Ginebra. Ginebra struggling defensively. Think the natin if it could reach a boiling point. Tenorio on the run again. This time, Pasokyan. Castro and JP pick and roll action. They include Gobonte, nice fake. Glenn with a pull up, that's good. In peace, picked up by Gobonte. And look at how active he and he is in the, on those boards. Jason saw that Scotty lost his footing. Oh, yeah. JP Aram increases their lead to 14. Just pushing that basketball, pushing the fast break, making stops, being active. You know, I still, I mentioned it earlier, and I'm going to mention it again. Of course, 9, 10, 11, 12, magsi, magsisimula na maghahanda para sa susunod na pamperensya. Under two and a half remaining in the third. Scotty, pinali pa yun. Challenge that shot of Scotty Thompson. It's Thompson getting the contact, getting the basket and the foul, and that's the fourth personal foul para kay Poyera. This crowd getting antsy. Wanting to cheer. They're waiting for that one run as Scotty is looking to provide. And I like how consciously Barangay Ginebra now trying to go to Scotty Thompson just like what he did in the previous conference. Castro gets it over to Mikey. 
and that silences the Hinebra crowd. Williams contra Pinto, he can shoot over him. Williams lulling him to sleep. Bang! And you know, the toughest part is allowing Mikey Williams to dribble. But if you get too close, he will leave you behind. So you try to stay in front of him and challenge that shot. And that's why it is TNT by 13, 78, 65, heading into the fourth. You know who will get rebounds, who will change shots, and it's just an energy guy. Also, can knock down uh, a number of threes, but if you have uh, Danuela's roster, you know, just being active, getting those rebounds. That's how I just say, get them see now. Kobuntin, Castro, Williams, and Rosser. DNT looking to bounce back from a crushing defeat to SMB. Dito nga sa huli nilang laro. Ito, in silang to para sa Inebra. Can it happen twice on the same day? Christian would like to think so. Bogs on the attack. Jumps it to the corner. Kobuntin delivers the long bomb. Bogoy again. Back pedals and dumps it. Jason touches it to Kobuntin. Sa kaliwa naman. Bang! All board. Chan on the breakout being chased. Castro napasabit, Chan gets the basket. May arak pa nga Limang BPC ito. Ang an daming minalas na kasabay si June Mar Fajardo. Eh. Kelly scoops it up and in. TNT looks like they're a step ahead. See wide open three-point shot once again. Para sa TNT. Rosser with a pick. Castro looking for his first basket. Gives it up. Three pointer na naman. Ba -ba -ba! If you're Barangay Nebra, you want to at least chip away at this deficit. If you're TNT, you want to keep increasing it. Alam mo bakit dong? Hmm. Kasi, sila pa rin yung pwede pwede magkita kita. Jan sa ibaba ng standing. Ellie trying to get it back to Scotty. Tolentino, ayo ng bumitaw ng tres. But again, never on the other hand, you just want to keep pushing. Kahit na hindi ka umabot pagdating ng dulo, at least hindi ganun kalaki ang pakpak. Correct. Hooks down the middle. Kapracket natin, Jordan, India, and New Zealand. But again, never continues to plug away. Decent, excellent result actually para sa ating Gilas 3x3 powered by TNT and the Pure Foods TJ Titans. Congratulations to sa ating uh, 3x3 team. RJ Abariantos, we wish everybody the best sa kanilang pagtahak dyan sa FIBA Asia Cup starting. No, TNT playing their ball game uh, pretty much 48 minutes, knocking down three point shots, spreading the floor, getting layups, and then Jason Castro. First points of the game, but in presence, niya kanina mo paramdam na ramdam to. As Tolentino. Playing with a sense of urgency, playing with a lot of pride, playing with a lot of energy. Even JB contributes the three, and then Northport the following Sunday. And then Phoenix on July 21. 106 92, your final score once again. Presented to us by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA.